So, all right, for those of you who are using a Keurig and find that your coffee is weak, when you use one of these, which is a filter, keep in mind that the coffee, the water is spilling outside of the, over the screen. So you have to fill up your coffee pod almost all the way to the top. And then you still get some weak coffee. And this one made by Keurig is actually quite a lot bit better than these. This makes the weakest coffee right here, this red one. This gray one here makes a stronger coffee, but even that's not great. So here's how you make strong coffee with a Keurig system. You put the water in your tank and you turn on the machine and you close the lid and you fill up your French press with hot water. See there's nothing in here. And you have your coffee grounds in there. Stir that up nicely. Put the lid on top of your French press. And you let it sit. And then, when that's complete, enjoy yourself a nice cup of strong coffee. So, for those of you out here who like to pay about 80 cents to a dollar for every cup of coffee, use the pods. Otherwise, go with the French press. I don't... My wife enjoys the Keurig machine, which is important, but uh, for me, the coffee needs to be strong. So, French press is the way to go. Thanks for watching.